So the moments in flying that are most memorable to me actually were the, the moments of fear and, and danger because when you go through them and you navigate them, you know, that's what you remember. My name is Alfred Hagen. People call me Fred. Yeah, I have an avocation that I'm very passionate about and, and it's searching for missing military aircraft in the South Pacific, North African desert and in lakes uh, in the United States. I was looking for the B-17 Swamp Ghost in Papua New Guinea. My great uncle had actually flown early in the war. And I was flying a Baron, a twin Baron, and I had a, a local pilot flying it. I was sitting in the co-pilot seat and I had a cameraman in the back. Uh, the pilot of my plane uh, chew a thing called betel nut, which is a narcotic, and he was chewing it up until the time we left. I presume that had some impact on his subsequent performance, and he hit a coconut palm with the left engine. And uh, the, the engine was knocked out of balance, and it was vibrating and clattering and making a lot of noise. And he was very shook up and wanted to return immediately somewhere. And I said, well, we can't. We've, I was leaving the next day. So the plane seemed to be running. I said, you know, reduce your power on the left engine. And we began our search grid. And we finally, after great difficulty, we spotted it, what looked like the tail of a B-17 sticking out of 20-foot high grass in the swamp. I was trying to get the GPS coordinates, and I was trying to get the cameraman to shoot some video of the plane, and everything seems to be working out well. And as you know, the altitude is your friend as a pilot. I mean, being close to the ground doesn't need no favors because you have no time to react to an, an emergency, and we were about as low as you could possibly be. And when we went to power up, whatever was wrong with the left engine, it just blew up. Uh, the pilot of my plane, he did go into kind of a panic mode, so I grabbed my yoke in the co-pilot seat and feathered the left engine, which means you turn the propeller so that they're not dragging through the air and you can knife through the air without making the plane crash. And I got it under control and powered up the right engine and stabilized it. And there's a pass, it's called the Kokoda Pass, and I told him, I said, well, we need to get up to about 10,000 feet. We can do that on one engine. So we climbed in a circular pattern. During this period, the sun set, and, and I remember going through the Kokoda Pass and seeing the Southern Cross come out and the profusion of stars you get in the tropics and seeing the sun as a burning ember you know, on the horizon. So knowing that the, in World War II, compatriots used this pass to bring their damaged aircraft home, it was a very special moment. And those were the, the moments that meant the most to me, and, and I, that may not sound rational, but I mean, those, that's what stands out. It's that, it's that moment of danger and excitement where something's gone wrong and you've, you basically have recovered and, and you've managed to survive. And that's the most special moments that I have of flying.